And we're back with DT Daily. Hello, everyone. Sitting in front of the biggest monitor that I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, <laughs> we're back here in Portland. We had to do the cheesy intro with it. I mean, you know, when you have something sitting here like this, I think it's kind of required that. Wait, you are we are we on camera? Yeah, we're. You on didn't camera tell me right about now. this. Yeah, I know. Sorry, oh, Matt just okay. came in here just to like hang out. And uh, now he's on camera with everybody. Hello, back with DT Daily Live here in Portland. So big thank you to Felicia and Duncan from our New York studio. So uh, we're joined now here with uh, Mr. Matt Smith, our computing editor. Hello, internet. Hello, <laughs> dear internet. Hello, my name is Matt. Um, so Matt is going to be doing an unboxing here. So this is something we'll be doing probably a lot of here on Digital Trends where we uh, bring in brand new products and we get to unbox it here live on the air. And this thing is ridiculous. It took two people to get it up here onto this table. And Matt, maybe you could tell us what we're looking at here. Yeah, so this is the Dell Ultra Sharp 49 curved monitor. Um, 49 stands for uh, 49 inches, 40, which is a lot. Monitor. It's a lot when it comes to the monitor. Yeah. Also, as you it's might notice, uh, it's kind of you know much uh, wider than it is tall. That's because it has a 32 by nine aspect ratio. And that basically means it's going to be the same as two um, regular 27-inch monitors side by side. Okay. But, you know, without any uh, gap in between them because it's all one monitor. So when, uh, what, maybe, I mean, I don't know if we want to start unboxing it. Yeah, yeah, this. we should probably do it because it's uh, going to be a thing. It's going to take a while. So what, <laughs> what, um, what is this designed for? Is it for gaming? Is it for, I mean, this we, one that's is... primarily what I think of when I think of, giant monitors like this is you know you sit there and you can see everything and yeah this one's a bit more for product productivity uh, because uh, well it is a Dell ultra sharp uh, any if you are familiar with monitors at all out there you've probably heard of ultra sharp name it tends to be Dell's high-end line that's more enterprise focused Barry, I think we're gonna uh, I gotta get my stuff out of the way yeah okay go after your laptop here yep I think we still got some uh, Tape on the other side. You want to? Yeah. What do am I doing? Honors? I don't want to break anything. This is what I'm always nervous about when I'm unboxing something. I think it's on the bottom, maybe. On the bottom, because if I cut this, this is going to be bad, right? Uh, I think it's pretty well insulated, so you shouldn't have to worry too much. And I'm going to spill my coffee everywhere. Um, but yeah, this is the second 49-inch monitor ever made. Uh, the first one was from Samsung. It's the Samsung CHG90, I believe is the model name, which okay. we recently took a look at. That one's more for gaming. So if you're a gamer, you know, that's probably the one you, you want to look at. It's because it has a higher refresh rate. Uh, and uh, the resolution is actually a little lower than this one. This one has uh, five, uh, 5120 by 1440, I do believe. Uh, okay. And that's pretty high. You're going to have a hard time. Uh, a, a lot of video cards are going to have a hard time powering that. This is um, a lot of packaging for it. It's really well. Thin. We're going to see it here in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like. Getting a monitor like this places without it breaking, I imagine, is quite a, yeah, a giant quite thing. a chore. Um, in fact, there was a big puncture. You probably saw that on the stream when we opened up. There was like a big puncture wound in I didn't the front it. of the front of the uh, box. So that's clear. All right. So <laughs> okay. So okay. we got it is it's got it free. Okay. This is kind of. I mean, I have to say. Like, if you were to purchase this, you wouldn't be able to bring it home by yourself. Like, it's too big well, and awkward to carry. I also wondered about that, like, because I'm not sure this is a monitor that you're ever going to see sold in Best Buy. And it's funny because <laughs> it has, like, all this, it has, like, a really nice box, right? Right. But I wonder if anyone's actually going to see it or if this is, like, only sold online. So it's 49 inches by, uh, how tall is this? Uh, I'm not sure the exact dimensions, but it, 12, 14. it's, um... It's basically the same as a 27 inch okay. 16 by nine monitor. All right. Uh, you just have two of them. So let's hold it up again. So there I'm, we go. we're holding this up right now. Again, live unboxing. I mean, it's pretty much as long as I am. Yeah. So this thing, like to me, this just Here. seems like a it's, bit of an overkill. Uh, where do we want to, we probably want to put it on the floor okay, for we'll a second. set it on the ground for a second. I'm going to try not to un do everything in here we gotta get so there's more there's more to it we got to get the stand out all right and i'm gonna take a look here oops and i just you won't let anybody see what i just did down there spill the copy um so we've got <laughs> <laughs> i'll be in trouble afterward but i knew that was right gonna now. happen i saw it over there i was like oh yeah well, you know, yeah that was bound to happen you're a brave man Greg. i was a brave man and uh, it did not work out well for me we're live we're live right now okay with Daily. so i want to get over here so i can take a look at some of the comments uh, as they're coming through, so we, we have any here, questions. Uh, which, a nice thing about ultra sharp monitors is they always have like really nice stands, uh, which 
you know, is actually pretty good because if a monitor is like not positioned where you need it to be, uh -huh. uh, it's a pain in the neck. Literally. That is true. Literally a pain in the neck. Um, so you really want your monitor to be able to go wherever you need it to go. And uh, this one can definitely do that. We got s some screws in here. Um, this is, uh, I don't think we're gonna have to install these. Uh, this is though um, VESA compatible, I believe. So you could like technically put it on a, another monitor okay. mount, like okay. one that swivels out of a wall or something like that. Uh, so that would be a pretty cool way to mount this. I think what we wanna do, let me check here, make sure we got all our gear out of here. Okay. This is First taking it straight of all. out of the box. Because uh, we got we get a whole mess of cables. It's really nice that these are all included. Um, and Greg, check over there. You got anything? Uh, let's see. I don't think so. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I'm good on this end. Okay. Cool. Well, let's put this. Okay. Let's put this I'll back in out, here. I'll pull it out, out of the way. Now let's get this whole box all right. off of here. <laughs> This is, this is the fun of doing this live right now. Okay, this is okay. Um, okay, so that's a gigantic box uh, that we have. And again, just for everybody joining, what's the name of the monitor again? The Dell UltraSharp uh, 49. Okay, the Dell UltraSharp 49. I'm gonna wrap my, Ugh, there goes my mic here. And we're using the mic, we're just... I'll just leave it there. You know what? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Okay, okay. You wanna, so can you grab this. the other end of it? Yep, I can grab the other end. I don't wanna break I it. I do not wanna break this. So what does this run? Uh, Price-wise? Yeah. I believe it's around 1500. Okay, um, it's, that's actually less it's, than I thought it would be. Well, it's less than you th you'd think it would be. It's a little more expensive than the Samsung, but the Samsung has been out for a while. Okay. Uh, so, so, you we, know, like it's, and also, so compared to the Samsung, this is probably going to be technically a little bit of a nicer monitor. Okay, and I know um, you haven't obviously had a chance to review it since we're just no, it right no, now. No, no, I haven't had a chance to look at it. And by, by nicer, like, let's qualify that a little bit. By nicer, I mean it's probably going to have a little bit better image quality, probably, overall. It definitely has a higher resolution. Okay. Uh, so that's something you'll notice right away. The resolution on the big Samsung, the 49 inch, is a little low for the panel, so you notice pixels fairly easily. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much, this is all so set up now. Be, and then you'd screw uh, it here to mount it. I think actually you probably would want to use the screws that I pulled out, even if you weren't mounting it on a wall because. Because you don't want that thing to fall. Yeah, you don't want that to fall. Yeah, let's but, see if we can tilt it just so we can. But yeah, so it does have some, some ergonomic options there that go up and down. Um, and. I mean, seriously, my yeah. arm, I can barely, like, yeah, it's about, about as wide as. Yeah, so this is this is about as wide as like the desks in so we'll the of, uh, digital trends drop office. It down just a little bit there, so it, yeah, fits right in the screen. But um, all right, so this is the 49-inch monitor, and so Matt is a computing editor here at Digital Trends, and you kind of do this all day long. They see you get products to look at, and then you unbox yeah. them and you test them out. So like, yeah, it's awful. Let me tell you, with terrible job, terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's just you know, so so every day you know, just really monotonous for Matt, um, but. So what do you do, uh, what do you, what do you, what's the next step for you? Uh, well, as far as setting up a monitor like this? Yeah, no, I mean next step as far as the review. Like, oh, the review. We get to see a review of it. Um, this is not gonna be reviewed, and the reason why is this is actually a pre-production unit. Oh, okay. Uh, so, um, probably haven't really seen a lot of this monitor around before. Uh, it was debuted like about two weeks ago and it got a little news coverage, mm -hmm. but uh, this is one of the, the first units that come out for anyone to look at. We're not gonna be able to do a full review on it because it's not gonna be fully tuned, like gotcha. production. We will do a hands-on uh, and give some impressions uh, about it overall. I mean, it's gonna be probably a pretty impressive monitor in any case, you know? Uh, unless something really expect, unexpected happens, uh, Dell UltraSharps are generally some of the best monitors. Okay. So uh, this one, you know, this one is less gaming oriented. So I don't know if you were a gamer, you kind of have to like. There's some give and, give and take here because right. you don't get a high refresh rate with this, um, but you do get you know a really nice high resolution with it. Again, it's a uh, 5120 by 1440. So um, pretty great resolution. Yeah, for a monitor this size, that, that definitely beats the Samsung in that regard. But the Samsung has a higher refresh rate, so it's going to be smoother uh, in gameplay. Well, and again, we have so many reviews, too, at Digital Trends. Matt, thanks for bringing this in here. For, yeah, no problem. It was too. fun to was unbox fun. it. I think we had a pretty successful time. Yeah, so far uh, I didn't break anything. I just spilled <laughs> coffee, but we'll deal with that afterwards. Yeah, spilled coffee uh, is, is pretty good uh, for unboxing. Right. Well, we're live.